Have you ever wanted your skin to be bouncy, like memory foam mattress bouncy, like cumulonimbus cloud vibes, like a puffed up puffer fish in the words of Dr. Shereen Idris? Well, if you've ever watched Pillow Talk Germ, aka Dr. Shereen Idris, which I highly recommend you do because she's amazing, she always speaks about glycerin and hyaluronic acid being these amazing hydrators. Yes, they are. And there are some additional ingredients that when combined with hyaluronic acid and glycerin can help plump up the outer layers of the face and really give you that extra boost as well as luminosity. Now, unfortunately, there's a lot of <laughs> out there. There's a lot of stuff that doesn't work and a lot of things that actually wouldn't be good to put on your skin. For example, one of my absolute favorite lip plumpers is from Clarity RX. This is an SPF 30 plus a lip plumper and baby, this plumps up my lips. But you would never, ever want to put this on your face. It literally says do not put it on your face. And if you want to see a before and after of what this does to my lips, you can do two things. Number one, you can keep watching. Or number two, I didn't intend entire video on what this is, how this works, and how this gives me the look of lip injections without the lip injections, which is very relevant to plumping the skin. Because you see, when most people are talking about skin plumping, they're talking about that look where cheeks are filled, where the skin is supple, it looks bouncy, there aren't a lot of fine lines and wrinkles, and the face literally has increased volume. Now there's two ways to do that. There's number one, applying things topically to the skin that can absorb moisture or what they can, which gives you a minimal effect at best. or you can literally add volume to the face with things like fillers specifically injected into the skin or actual implants because yes, some people get implants specifically in the chin, in the cheeks, kind of by the jawline. Some people have gotten forehead implants, but those are definitely not as common uh, and for good reason. Now, as your acne big sister who literally has a pimple patch in between my boobies because I was breaking out, and as your medical SD who's here to be your internet bestie, I want to set some expectations, okay? Topical products are not going to perform the same way as fillers. These are not adding filler and volume to the face. And the effects that these have, they can be long lasting if you use them regularly, but the volume or the plumping effects are temporary at best. We are not talking about somebody who wants to have brand new lips or brand new cheeks. You're gonna need to do something a little bit more intensive for that. You gotta look at surgery or tweakments, baby. I'm telling you as it is. However, if you're someone who does look at your skin literally all the time in the mirror, like I do, or you've noticed fine lines and wrinkles, or you've wanted your skin to be just a little bit plumper, a little bit more elastic, bouncier, juicier, then these are the serums for you that actually have ingredients that do what they say they're going to do, that I've actually tested and tried on my skin and on client's skin and it works and they actually do a really good job of it instead of just having this marketing. Now, the great thing is that if you're trying to get plumper, juicier, bounce your skin, that usually also means that your skin barrier has to be intact. That usually means that you have to have collagen and elastin in the skin, which is what some of these do. And we need to talk about how that works scientifically, starting with copper peptides. Copper peptides are fantastic, specifically because of the way copper works inside of your skin naturally. Our entire bodies and our skin naturally has copper in it. It's not only an essential nutrient that you need to get from your diet, but it is also essential in your body's ability to make collagen. Literally collagen is this beautiful triple helix structure. Look at it, fucking gorgeous. And copper is a cofactor that allows protein cross-linking to happen. Basically your body cannot create the collagen and the elastin without the help of copper. Now it is amazing, but what happens when we put it topically on the skin? Well, not only is it a biocide and disinfectant, literally people used to use copper to disinfect things, but if it absorbs into the skin, it can actually tell your skin to make more collagen and elastin through special cells called fibroblasts. Your skin has a ton of these and these fibroblasts are really fucking special. Fibroblasts are responsible for actually creating collagen and elastin inside of our skin. And if we can stimulate those fibroblasts, they're going to create more collagen and elastin. But the question is, how do we tell the skin to do that? copper, baby. Copper, when applied to the skin, can help with this. And again, it's not the same as laser therapy. It's not the same as medical microneedling. But if you're looking for something topical, there is growing research and some really good stuff on how copper can help when topically applied to the face. Now, what's also super cool about this one, this one's from Biosance. This one's blue. It's beautiful. But this also has glycerin and hyaluronic acid. Remember those two really inexpensive but effective ingredients that Dr. Shreen Idris talks about puffing you up like a little puffer fish? Yep, both of those 
are in here. This also has water and other ingredients that can bind to the hyaluronic acid and bind to the glycerin to actually pull the hydration into the skin instead of dehydrating your skin. Now, I would still say that this is probably best used with a moisturizer. This does have squalane in it, which is an oil that can really moisturize and seal all of this goodness into your skin. Squalane is related to squalene. Our skin creates the squalene, and then the squalene is hydrogenated by walking down the lane to go to the hydrogenation factory. If you don't know that video, I highly recommend that you watch our video that we used a squalene shark analogy because yes, squalene can be derived from sharks. So we are cruelty-free skincare consumers out here. So this squalene and the squalene that I recommend is definitely from olives, not from shark livers. But I digress. The squalene in here is fantastic. It is moisturizing. It gives the skin a boost. And I have just found that this is a great plumping serum. I actually tried this on half of my face because it says rapid plumping. And I did find that this rapidly plumped. Again, it wasn't like putting capsaicin or this lip gloss all over my face. It wasn't like instant filler. But as someone who looks at my skin all the time and knows where my fine lines and wrinkles are and knows what my skin looks like, I definitely saw a noticeable difference in 30 minutes of using this. Now the one problem that I have is that it's $38. Again, it has great ingredients like turmeric, so it's brightening as well. It's got eggplant and basil. <laughs> Beautiful. But it's expensive. It's really good. I think it's worth it. And Biosance as a brand actually cares about their customers, the environment, they use glass packaging, and they donate to ocean sustainability and ocean conservation. However, if you're looking for something cheaper, there is a little hero from The Ordinary. The Ordinary has multiple serums, including the Buffet and Buffet Plus Copper Peptides. It doesn't have the added hydrators like the squalane, hyaluronic acid, and glycerin that this one does. And it doesn't have the turmeric and basil and eggplant that are really wonderful and antioxidant boosting. If you're on a budget, The Ordinary's Buffet and Copper Peptide Serum is a really great way to get copper peptides without the price. It is one of The Ordinary's more expensive serums, but I do think it's worth it. And if you're really on a budget, Budget, but interested in trying copper peptides, that's where I would say you would go. Now, if you have a little bit of extra money, this is worth it all the way. Not only that, but it's blue. I love this one, but The Ordinary always has a place in my heart. Either way, copper peptides are wonderful for plumping the skin. Now, there are other ingredients that are great for plumping the skin as well. We spoke about hyaluronic acid, but we also need to talk about adenosine. You see, adenosine is used in emergency medicine. It's literally used for people whose hearts are not performing. If you are ACLS certified, you know it all too well. But when adenosine is applied topically to the skin, it can actually help with wrinkles. This is a fantastic serum that is literally called a bouncy skin serum. It's technically called the dose of wisdom bouncy skin reactivating serum. I would have just called this the bouncy skin serum because boy, does this plump up the face. This has hyaluronic acid, this has vitamin C, and this has adenosine, all of which plump the skin. Now what's really cool about this specifically is that they tested this on hundred women. So they didn't just, you know, make it and say, oh, it's great. They actually tested this on people and people saw results. Now I was super lucky because I got to try this before it came out. I got it in the little lab sample and I was ready to tear it to shreds. I used it here in the cold weather where I live. Then I actually took it to Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi where it was hot and humid and Dubai where it was dry and humid because this has hyaluronic acid in it. I wanted to see if it was going to dry my skin out because sometimes if hyaluronic acid is not paired with an occlusive moisturizer, it dries you the f out. This did not. This made my skin so bouncy, so happy, so luminous and visibly plumped when I would apply it to half of my face. And the last day that I was in Dubai, there was actually like a wind storm. And when I was coming home, I packed this in my bag under the plane as opposed to carrying it on with me. I regretted that decision so much. My skin was so dry. It was like crusty on the plane. It's like it had like a layer of oil on it, but it was dehydrated deep down. And if you ever pinch your skin and it tense, that's how you can tell that your skin is dehydrated. If your skin tense a ton, that could be pitting edema, which you don't want. That is go, go see a doctor if your skin is like that. But if you have a little bit of that tense, and your skin doesn't bounce back, that's usually a sign of major dehydration. My skin was like oily, but it was like not bouncing back. It was so <laughs> upset. When I got home, I immediately reapplied the serum and holy <laughs> my face felt brand new. <laughs> I was so impressed by my experience and then by seeing the study that they did on, I think it was like 106 women and seeing how their skin actually looked. I was like, wow, I'm not crazy. This isn't the placebo effect. This is doing it. This is also amazing because philosophy wasn't cruelty free for the longest time. I didn't touch or buy their products for like five or six years because I was cruelty free. They are officially Leaping Bunny certified. All of these products are cruelty free. And holy <laughs> if you're looking for plump, bouncy, 
juicy hydrated skin with adenosine and hyaluronic acid and vitamin C which also helps with radiance with luminosity with any dark marks also has a plantain leaf extract which is anti-inflammatory and in folk medicine some people actually used plantains to help treat insect bites because it would help with a lot of the redness but still keep the skin healthy and promote healing now this has a small amount of the plantain extract but I really think that it's doing something in here because my skin definitely feels more bouncy when I use this and I was just again literally shocked at how my skin responded when it soaked this up when I got off the plane it was like a dry dehydrated sponge it was like Spongebob dehydrated it was like you know that flower that can last like six years without water and then in like 10 minutes it magically comes alive again yes I feel like that eternal flower my skin was like a parched camel with no water in the humps on its back and this brought my skin back into action. And yes, it is now cruelty-free. Speaking of cruelty-free, we gotta talk about snail mucin, baby. We gotta talk about them snails. Because yes, snail mucin can actually be plumping to the skin. It can be hydrating. There are medical studies showing that it is wound healing, and some people have even said helps prevent with cancer. I wouldn't go that far. I need studies to see that. But there are some studies on snail mucin that are very exciting. And that being said, we're cruelty-free out here. I don't want to be harming the snails. Some people say that the snails aren't harmed, but when you think about it, the snail secret is actually extracted from the snails by either electrocuting them or putting them in a wash machine. I don't know if they have central nervous systems that can feel pain or not, but like, I don't want to f***ing harm the snails at this point. At the same time, I don't want to miss out from the benefits of snail mucin. So like, what's a to do, right? Vegan snail mucin exists, and in my opinion, it's better than the real f***. Thing. It's less sticky, it's more absorbent, and it comes from yams. It still has this amazing antioxidant benefit and skin and wound healing benefit, but without the cruelty and it's less expensive. Now this specific serum is from V Green. This is the V Green Fragrance Free Nature Mucin Serum by Wild Yam. Whole leaf is this so good. And if you're looking for something that hydrates the skin, that is wound healing, specifically if you have sensitive skin, I would say this is your best option. These are really good, but they can be a little bit more intense, especially because this one has fragrance in it. This one is fragrance free. This is simple. You can use it day or night. It's inexpensive. And if you want a plumping serum, baby, this one does it. This formula is fantastic, not only because it has yams, but it also has copper peptides and centella. You know centella is Godacola, the amazing anti-redness, very hydrating, wound healing plant. It is so fantastic. We just spoke about the copper peptides, but this has other peptides in here as well. And again, it has this yam extract that really mimics the snail mucin, but without the cruelty and without the sticky. Now, when it comes to snail mucin, there have been some studies looking at it, again, specifically how it can promote wound healing. There was a medical study that looked at snail secretion filtrate that was applied to rats. And they specifically found that when they applied the snail secretion filtrate, it improved wound healing through things such as collagen deposition, tissue, AKA skin remodeling process, specifically with vascular endothelial growth factor. Basically the skin in these mice created more little blood cells, which allowed the body to send, make more skin ingredients and nutrients to the skin to create collagen, elastin, etc., and promote wound healing. Now that does look pretty good, but this was done on mice, not humans. I wanna see the things on human skin, but the wild yam has properties that literally mimic the snail secretion filtrate. They have some of the same hydrating and skin improving factors, which really just to help plump up and boost up the skin. And yes, even support when the skin has blemishes. Like, do you see this blemish on the side of my forehead? V Green knocked it out of the park with this. My understanding is that they worked for years on this to get it right and to make sure the ingredients are just perfect, but holy it is so good. The way I would describe the difference between like snail mucin and yam or like a salicylic acid serum versus a BHA serum is that they're basically the same when you get down to the nitty gritty. For example, you could buy water that's like from a really fancy water bottle or you could get it from the tap. But if you look at the basic molecule, it's H2O. Now, water from the tap might have extra minerals or it might be hard water. It might have extra stuff in there. The water in the bottle might have been exposed to BPA or maybe it went through a process in manufacturing that changed the pH of the water. So the two waters at the end are different based on the other things that are mixed in there and the treatments that they've gone through, but the basic molecule of H2O is exactly the same. And with skincare ingredients, just like salicylic acid or like snail mucin versus the wild yam, there can be things that are added to the formula, to the serum or to that molecule, but at the very, very basics of it, a glycerin is a glycerin. A copper peptide 
is a copper peptide. And yes, a snail mucin can be made cruelty-free with a yam. And this is why it's so important to turn and learn your ingredients and understand what you're actually getting and what ingredients are actually going to give you the results that you're looking for. Again, love my lip plumping serum, but there is no way that I'm putting this on my face. And for me personally, I've opened up about the treatments that I've had done. I've opened up about having or not having injections and plastic surgery. I'm not gonna tell you the answer. If you wanna know what I've had done, you can go watch that video. I will link it here for you. I will link it right there. But for me, if I can use these things and get a noticeable result that makes me happy, I don't need to continually go back, spend tons of money, be under the knife or under the needle for lots of tweakments or procedures when I can do something that gives me a temporary boost to my face that could be more long-term if I use these more long-term. And it really is a great way to ease in without making the full commitment. I'm linking all of these as well as the medical studies in the description. And you see there's like this little YouTube button. If you poke at this, you can actually read the ingredients or save these to a list to read later. But make sure that you really get familiar with your ingredients so that you know how you can make them work for you. If you want to know what I've done to my face, you can watch that video next, or you can watch one of Dr. Shreen Idris's because she's fantastic. But either way, I do want you to always remember to stay hydrated. I'd recommend these. Always remember to reapply your SPF and always remember to be usable both inside and out. I love you and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. Love you guys. Bye.